Fuck you. I Man, fuck you. I bought the fucking pool for this exact joke. Fuck you. No! <laughs> oh, you're you're bleeding like a motherfucker. Oh, did I Are you actually? My oh my, oh my I god. My you really just. I felt that over. All right, so it's been a couple weeks since stay at home orders were initiated and this whole quarantine nightmare started, and I am loving it. I have spent more time reading and being alone and nobody's bothering me and I'm honestly just having a blast. But my roommates, well, I, I can't say the same. <laughs> we did. Playing Dota and helping Jeff build a computer. I have got an idea for something really fun that we could do today, but we have to do it before Tyler gets home. I can only tell you after you're done with Dota because I have to show you. I can't, I can't tell you. Taking every single piece of furniture in Tyler's room and mirroring it? That was, that was close actually. <laughs> but no, 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 better, better than that. We're thinking bigger, we're thinking bigger. After you're done with Dota, come, come see me in my office. So I was thinking what would be the most fun we could have today is Let's have a pool party in the living room. That's a big ass pool. Well, fucking, it was the smallest one I could find. If that fits. It will fit, I think. So, we set this up, we get everyone over, we have a huge ass pool party, Tyler walks in, we're like, ah, what's up, dude? What do you think? The only thing I haven't figured out entirely is how do we get the water out of it. We'll be smart and not flood the house. Right, sure. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, that's why I was- This is a whole lot more work than I thought. Well, I guess this prank is a bust then. Well, we can put it on the roof. All right, Andreas, I got the net. With Andreas on board, there was no way this could go wrong. We then spent the next couple hours assimilating what I believe to be the greatest idea of all time. But then I had a thought. We have a, we have a pool! Wow! <laughs> this looks like this is gonna take a while. It might. Like 10 minutes? Like two hours. Oh. Hoses flow at approximately four to eight gallons per minute, meaning that 10 minutes would be 80 gallons, meaning that 100 minutes would be 800 gallons. We need like 1,600 gallons. Three and a half. Now, is this not the most exciting way you could have spent your day? Look, and the pool doesn't even stop. You just step outside and the pool. I need more pool! More pool! Uh, we're idiots. As it turns out, water is actually the heaviest liquid on the planet, and we just put a shit ton of it on our roof. So, luckily, the guy next door is a developer and was going to tell us whether the math checks out or not, whether we're going to collapse our roof. All right, we've got our math man here to tell us what's going on. You could crumble up into a ball and just chuck it over like a, like a football. At the worst thing that's gonna happen is we're just gonna have to go downstairs, but I believe in your throwing capabilities. Let's see him here, you got this. Here it is, the wind up. And no, it's not, just chuck it that way, I'll, I'll block it. I got it. So I am looking at a lot of numbers here. So you're telling me this pool is gonna weigh 84,000 pounds? And you're telling me that the allowed weight on this roof is 54,000 pounds. So I should, I should turn off the water then. The MVP, okay. I'm gonna take this to the scientist real quick. All right, scientist, we have a reading. Wait, when did you get Tijuana Flats? Oh no. You ordered a burrito and you didn't ask me if I wanted one? Don't worry about it, I'm taking care of it. How have you taken care of it? <laughs> Don't worry about it. My heart's fucking broke right now. No, your you're... heart will be fixed. Here's the dealio. Okay. This is the max amount of weight that the pool, that our roof, based on his estimate, can hold, which is 54,000 pounds. Nice. Okay. The weight of this pool fully filled is 84,000 pounds. 84,000 pounds? It's not 10,000 gallons of water. It says 1,486 gallons. All right, we have done some future scientists. We have we have some new information here. Bring the box. So on this box, so this math, as, as first of all, we very much appreciate it. This math here says about 10,000 gallons is the pool, right? But on this box, it says it's 1,500 gallons in this pool. So it turns out it's actually two feet of water tall, and the third foot of the pool is actually just this kind of inflatable thingy. Inflatable thingy yeah. Perfect. So that's yeah. it. We're good. So we should be good then. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Go us. We have two scientists saying that everything could totally be a okay. Are you actually ready for this? I brought supplies, didn't I? 
Okay. Dude, no pool parties complete without the pool noodles. Cool. What do you think of our luxury pool? I love it. Right? It's complete with uh, one water fountain. Very high Woo! class. All right, Floody's going in. Boom. Whose goes there? How'd you know about the pool? She has a fucking swan being filled up. Ah, oh, god damn it! Fucking <laughs> spoiler and surprise. All right, get the brews upstairs ASAP. We gotta get we gotta get the fucking pool party set up before Tyler gets home. <laughs> oh my fucking god! If Tyler pulls up, then I'll see it. Ah! We got another twenty minutes. Ah. All right, don't say anything. Tyler has no idea. What's up? Well, this nigga really does just show up every <laughs> other day after work. Can I do all these things for you to enhance your quality of life? I enhance your quality of life when I freaking occupy this dwelling. <laughs> okay. You think he has any idea? No idea. He's here, 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 he's here. We'll worry about the extension cable after. Tyler! Fuck you. Man, fuck you. I bought the fucking pool for this exact joke. <laughs> fuck you. No. It was at this moment that he knew. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh you're you're bleeding like a motherfucker. Oh, did I Are you actually? My nose oh my oh my god. My nose. <laughs> you really just I felt that over here. Uh, I was like, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Oh my god, what? Stand up all you Whoa. want. I know that hurt. <laughs> wow, you just, you really just broke your nose for the vlog. I did not break my nose. Yeah. But, was it rolling? <laughs> was it rolling? You should come see what's upstairs. What's upstairs? Yeah. I'm gonna hit a fucking wall. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. What is Have fun with that one. <laughs> what is fucking tarnation? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this in, the water is obscene. <laughs> this is so obscene. Come on, Tyler, take your pants off. Get in the pool. Take your pants off. Take your pants off. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna go change. Man, no, don't change. Oh no. How do you feel right now? Well, I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes in life you take risks and uh, and they work out. And sometimes you take risks and then the rain decides to fucking ruin it. I'm fine. I'm handling this perfectly. It's not fucking fair. It's not like my whole day just got ruined. How do you feel? Listen, this is completely unexpected, and my entire mind has been blown. <laughs> All right, to the pool two on five. The greatest idea that I've had ever, thanks to the assistance of Andreas and our neighbor for calculating, making all the, the calculations <laughs> to make sure that the pool was a success. Those were necessary. Yeah, cheers, gentlemen. We need to like repay them. Cheers! Cheers! Cool. There's really only one way to end a good pool day, and that is with some bomb-ass dinner. We're here at Publix. I forgot to bring a face mask, so this old tank top will have to do. Let's go shopping. Look at this. Look at how amazing Publix is doing of keeping these things just clean. Wrong way. Right way. Six feet apart. Bum, 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 bum. Tell everybody I'm on my way, Chardonnay. Um, yes, yeah, so Instagram is actually the best way just to find me directly. Oh. Stay home. Stay home. Stay home. And uh, providing me the phenomenal value at Publix. That's right. Making sure shopping is always a pleasure, That's even right. in a pandemic. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. Thank you. Oh, oh God damn it, I love Publix. I caught you back Yeah. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, my millions of fans. I can feel my stardom growing by the second. A few moments later. <laughs> no, I just want to be in a shop. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, so, Les would not let me film the cooking process because apparently that is intrusive. Um, so, uh, here's the, uh, here's the slow-mo overview of this amazing chicken, green bean, and potato dinner. Nothing better than starting off my Monday with a nice little pool and a refresh. 
fuck? Oh my god, there's literally a foot deep of water. That's like the water line right there to the door. Oh my god, oh my, oh my god, this is just. I'd leave this part in, but essentially I went into an entire spiel about the current state of the pandemic and how it's affecting local businesses, economy, and the opportunity in the social media marketing game. But I think I'm just gonna leave that for a later episode. So we're just gonna speed through this and I'll let you close it off. If you're one of the people that follows this channel for SMMA and business advice, I am gonna be dropping some really cool stuff later this week, basically. Oh, I'm going to be dropping an update on my plans for how to take over during the pandemic and how to thrive during the pandemic and not just survive. So if you're interested in that, again, hit the fucking subscribe button and I will see you guys next week.